This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you're okay. I'm okay. It's half past five on Wednesday, 28th of March, and we are parked up in Basingstoke. Uh, we're actually just around the corner from a certain site, which uh, I will not mention. You know who? Green Company. Um, we've deliv I've delivered there before many times, so I know I can park here. I've actually parked here a couple of nights before. So not the couple of nights before, but a couple of nights before. So uh, I'm parking here tonight. We are on our way to London. Uh, second time in London, it will be tomorrow. We are going to, where are we going to? Electra Park. It's in London, E16 is where we're going. East London. So yeah, that'd be fun. We've got to be there for seven o'clock in the morning. Um, and we're about two hours and 20 minutes away. So in the morning, we will be leaving, what, about four o'clock, just get there in time in case there's traffic as well. So we definitely want to be on the road before quarter past four. Just, yeah, before quarter past four. Uh, and you're going to see it as well. I will be vlogging tomorrow. I don't know whether you'll see it in this vlog today or another vlog uh, over the weekend or even Wednesday. But tonight we're parked up and I'm going to show you just some bits and bobs that I get up to. So. Like I said, it's half past five now in the afternoon. Um, I clocked off and I could do with cleaning the cab a little bit. Not necessarily cleaning, but just organising. Um, since I've been driving this truck, I've not done many nights out. In fact, I think I've done two or three nights out. And both nights I've stayed out, they've been late nights and I've just got straight to bed. So um, it's half past five, we're parked up and um, I feel like we should get some stuff organized. So first task on the agenda is this cable, is my microphone cable, the one that you're listening to me on right now. It's a very long cable that needs to be feeded around my windowsill and to the back of the seat. So I'm gonna quickly do that. And uh, yeah, then we can uh, get vlogging for tomorrow. <laughs> Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? To say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything. Excellent. Right, that's now done. Uh, it was relatively easy. Um, the only thing. I had to do differently was under the bed um it's basically got this on it just like a a cover what do, what do you call that anyway a bit of material underneath the wooden slat so i had to make an ever so slight small hole just for the cable to run through underneath the bed uh and now all i got to do is plug this in when i'm driving that plugs in there and the mic is in here so that's all hooked up that was actually one of the reasons why i haven't done many vlogs recently um, because it just hasn't been set up in order for me to actually do a vlog so at least that's done that's one job finished now i will eventually do a cab tour uh, a proper cab tour but i'm not doing it right now um most of it you can see in this video anyway i have got some led lights put up uh going all around the bed so let me just show you that's going all the way around the bed on the top goes down the side as well and also on the bottom so that's pretty cool got remotes all over the place as well so if I really wanted to I can change the colour to anything I want so I can have like red, orange, green, turquoise, blue, purple, pink, whatever colour I want even white during the evenings when it's really dark out so that's cool and also I can have a little party if I want to as well and uh, throw some different colours on <laughs> so yeah it's pretty cool I do enjoy this and I, I, I want to get a, like, a lot more lights on in the future I've actually just ordered myself a MAN uh, logo to go in the front of the windscreen, plug into the cigarette lighter, um, picture on screen now hopefully. So yeah, that's something else I've done. It's nice to have a, a sunroof that works, as in the other lorry it didn't work, which um, legally is fine, but yeah, it's nice to have a, 
a working, hang on, a working sunroof, that's nice. And you may be wondering, why have I got the curtains closed? Well, quite frankly, it's actually quite warm today and the sun is beating down this way and it's just really bright, so just close the curtains, close the curtains. One thing I really do like about this lorry is obviously, as you know, and if you don't know, then shame on you, but you, <laughs> most of you should know that this lorry is wrapped. Um, and the good thing about it is that the windows were actually wrapped as well, over here, which is really cool because I can, in my other lorry, if the curtain was even there, people could see me in bed sleeping, but now I can leave it like that, light still comes in, but no one can see me, so that's actually really cool. I really like that, I really do. So yeah, um, this is me. Oh, a bit wobbly. Um, I've already got dressed. I'm now feeling a little bit hungry, so see JC likes to cook live and he shows you what he cooks. Now I'm gonna show you what I have for dinner. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh crap, that wasn't supposed to happen. Now we better clean up that mess I just made with the uh, curry. Just a couple of uh, marks. Let's clean that off with some pink. 10% off if you quote Luke C and HDV on pinks, not pinks, on Chrome's website. Don't forget, I'm sponsored by Chrome. 10% off. Also, you get a discount if you go to Trailer Trailing UK and quote my name as well. Just thought I'd get that, them two in there. Right, so now we're just waiting for the curry to be done. Just check my um, drawer where I got the spoon and uh, it's not there. So I'm hoping I got a spare one in here somewhere in my box of things. Uh, paracetamol, security tags. Oh, that's a knife. Some rolls for, for the thing up there. Some gel, some paracetamol. Spoon! Right, we've got a spoon. Doesn't need to be washed though. Five, four, three, two, one. Who needs pots and pans in the stove when you've got a microwave? Giggity! <laughs> Don't know why I'm saying giggity for. I'm off my nut today. Downside, oh, just fell over. <laughs> Downside um, to cooking the microwave is that you get the microwave dirty. Now we've got to clean the microwave. I'd rather do it now than forget about it and then remind myself that i got to do it when I'm next one I cook. I'd rather give it a good, good clean now, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's, uh, that's me cooking some food. That's what, how I do it. Now I've got a microwave anyway. The um, possibilities are slightly endless. Like I can now cook rice <coughs> if I wanted to. And I can just, I can heat things up and have a hot meal now in the evening rather than um, just cold stuff. I do, I did have a pan and that I could um, cook this curry in if I really wanted to. But yeah, never mind. It probably would be better to buy fresh. But the problem is, um, with the job I'm doing right now is that everywhere I deliver to is off of a motorway more than likely. So I only have motorway stations to pull into. There's really not much of a choice that I have um, unless I buy it in advance. And I, I mean, ask my girlfriend, I am horrible at buying things in advance. Like, I don't like it. I don't like planning meals. I'm quite spontaneous. I like to have something to eat when I want something to eat and what I want to have something to eat, if that makes sense. So like this curry, for example, I've had that in, in there for like weeks. So more than one, and I got a spaghetti up there. I got pot noodles, I, can, I got a kettle. I can have pot noodles if I wanted to, but it's not obviously the healthiest. And talking of healthiest, like how's the diet doing? Not good. Um, I'm trying to lose weight, but the problem with this container work is that I'm just inside the cab all day and like just sitting around doing nothing and it's not good. It's not good for my health. So we'll, um, we'll see how things go. I might be doing it for a few more weeks, might be doing it for a couple of years, who knows, who knows. Options are available, um, and if the boss offers me another job to do, then I'll take it up. Apart from the one he recently asked me to do, which involved doing night work, and my girlfriend, who's now calling me, was not very keen on me doing night work, so never mind. Anyway, I better answer the phone. So it's 20 to 7 now, uh, in the evening. We've had our food, we've relaxed. The sun's gone down now, it's a lot, um, sort of, not dark, but not as bright as it was earlier. Let's just put the sun 
lined up. So this is what we are doing tomorrow. Um, so as you can see, 55 miles, two hours, four minutes is going to take to get there. And if we just zoom out, <coughs> like this, um, that is not actually the way we're going to be going in. We are going to be coming in via Dartford, so that's not true. Tom Tom has decided to play up and so I've had to reset it. In the meantime, I'll show you this. That's my beacons. That's what the beacons are flashing like. You see the back of them there, look. Love the beacons. Anyway, sat-nav is finally up and running. There we go. I don't know why my sat-nav does this. So it was taking me on the yellow route, which is going up that way around the M25. I want to go this way around the M25, up through Dartford, go under the tunnel, and then come off and go on the A13. A13. So we get here. And then I need to go up there and then back down again, which is actually four minutes quicker. So it says finding the fastest route and then it gives me a route which is four seconds slower, uh, four minutes slower, which is a bit annoying. Anyway, still two hours and four minutes. So and why is it taking me down there? Why is it taking me through Guildford? I'll just go straight up. See, because my sat nav has like traffic updates and things like that, sometimes it plays up so yeah because it's got all that traffic there look, on the m25 it's telling me now to to not go on the m25 because of all that traffic there and it's telling me to come on here but now i will be in the morning i'll be going straight up to the m25 and then go round to dartford and then on the a13 was it a13 yeah that is the way i am going and it should take about two hours to get there so <clears throat> got to be there for seven <clears throat> but i will be up about four o'clock getting ready to go and i will be on the road before half past four um and then if i'm there at half past six or before then i'm there before um one thing i will check where's my phone Ugh. what time is sunrise in london tomorrow sunrise was at 6 45 today in london today okay well basically quarter to seven so it probably will be dark when i get there but we'll see so we're driving in london in the dark great <laughs> anyway, i'm gonna go and have a little walk so for those of you who haven't seen my truck yet there it is it's called the bandit and when i get my sign that i've just ordered off of amazon it's going to sit in the middle somewhere which means i will need to move my dash cam maybe have it slightly above but yeah this is the bandit give you a quick look at what it looks like <clears throat> it's not the cleanest at the moment because it's been raining today it was actually sleeting at one moment uh today which is not ideal so it may it's made it quite dirty but um never mind we've got a 40 foot container on as you can see we're locked and secured all tires are done up blown up to sufficient pressure doors are locked and uh, yeah, everything's all hunky-dory. The company, which I'm not going to mention, is just over there. You know who it is. I know who it is. If you don't know who it is, ask someone in the comments. But uh, yeah, let's just say they're not my favourite company anymore. <clears throat> right, so. Yeah, it's a nice day. It's weird, because this is actually the first night I've had out when, since the clocks have gone forward. So normally it'd be dark now because it's nearly seven o'clock, but it's still light. So what I'm gonna do now is go in, uh, go for a walk, and then come back to the cab and edit the video. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I am trying to lose weight, still. It's not been going so well, as I briefly mentioned earlier, because of the work that I'm doing. Doing this container work is not ideal, because uh, as I mentioned, you spend a lot of time in the cab and uh, just don't get out and about but i'm going to try and get out more especially if i'm doing nights out like this just go for a walk walk around as i'm doing now trucks over there go for a walk and chill out try and get some exercise try and burn off some of this fat that i got going on but yeah i do apologize for not doing any recent videos but um 
just, just haven't had the get up and go to actually do the videos. And like I said, it wasn't ready to, I wasn't ready to do one because um, some of the mics and equipment were, were not set up. So I couldn't do a vlog even if I wanted to, but I am going to start trying to do more vlogs again. It might not be twice a week, it might be twice a week, you're just going to have to see what you get, basically. <laughs> going into some bush here. But yeah, I'm just going to go for a walk and uh, burn, burn some fat off, do some exercise. Right, <clears throat> that's it, that's the walk done. It went long, it was only like 15 minutes or so, but it's better than nothing. Um, we shall now turn the sat-nav off because we know it's going to take about two hours to get there. Is that the sat-nav? Nope. Is that the sat-nav? Nope. What was that? I'm unplugging the wrong things here. That's the sat-nav. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to like, rewire the cab a little bit so it's a lot tidier and uh, in the process of doing that I'm moving things around and I'm forgetting which cables are which. <clears throat> but never mind, we'll see we can get there. So like I said this video is just literally the day before, well, the, the evening before the day's vlog. Um, obviously because it's been a week or so since I've done a vlog I didn't want to just run into it, I just wanted to ease myself here and do this little vlog first and tomorrow I'll be recording another vlog which will also be coming out over the weekend so there should be two over the weekend with a bit of luck <coughs> that's the plan and uh, yeah what I gotta do now is just set my dash cam up so it's ready to go in the morning um, and then when I wake up in the morning we can start start vlogging so yeah that's the plan thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you tomorrow I will thanks for watching drive safe Bye-bye. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below.